What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy and this is a review of the brand new iPad Mini 5. I've been using this for a while now, watching movies, reading books, editing videos, doing all kind of different things with this and I'm ready to give you my opinion and what I think my experience of the iPad Mini 5th generation. Let's get on with it. For someone like me, the iPad Mini seemed a bit neglected by Apple, but that's until now. The design hasn't changed much from its predecessor, but the internals has been upgraded to offer the best tablet experience possible. It comes with the option of a 64 gig or 256 gigabytes of internal storage with no room for expansion. It uses the latest A12 Bionic processor with Neural Engine. Its RAM sees a bump up from two gigabytes to three gigs of RAM, and that supports Apple Pencil. But that's the first generation only, so you can't start using your friend's second gen Apple Pencil that supports the iPad Pro. The fifth gen iPad Mini's display is brighter with 326 PPI as a wider color gamut and uses a zero gap technology. Its 7.0 inch display supports true tone display, which I tend to turn off when editing photos for true color representation. It's also great for reading books, playing games, watching movies, and so on. With large ugly bezels, it's definitely not a state of the art design, but don't let that put you off though. It also means you have, if you have old accessories like the cover, you, then you're in luck. You can just use it and carry on using it like before. Down at the bottom, you have two bottom firing speakers, which are pretty decent, and you have a 3.5 mil headphone jack as well. The 5th gen iPad mini is lightweight at just 300 grams, making it easy to use one-handed when reading books, for example. It uses Apple's lightning connector for charging, and you can also use it to charge your Apple Pencil first generation. It has a battery that will last you up to 10 hours, and it ships with the latest OS as well, so you get the iOS 12 in there. The iPad mini 5th generation ships with the latest iOS 12, so you can take full advantage of the multitasking feature, although it's better used in landscape mode. It has an 8 megapixel main camera at f2.4 aperture, and on the front, you have a front facing 7 megapixel f2.2 selfie camera. So, how does it feel using the 5th gen iPad mini? If you already have the iPad Pro, it's obviously not something that you'd buy unless you're buying it for your kids or maybe your partner or someone else. It's more than a pricey e reader. It can be used for educational purposes like learning a new language, learning to code, using it to edit videos, for example, and pictures, use it as a diary. It's super versatile. Sometimes the device feels confused compared to the latest devices in Apple's ecosystem in that its bezels are chunky, it doesn't support the latest Apple Pencil, the camera shoots 1080p at 30 frames per second, there's no 4K support, it still uses the old lightning connection so there's no USB-C for example. Having said that though, with the latest processor chip which is super powerful, you can edit videos, even 4K videos, you can play games with no hiccups, battery life is excellent, it lasts me up to 4 days with my kind of views uh, before I need to charge it again. So. It generally, I love the iPad Mini's form factor as well. It's hands down best in class and I can't recommend it enough. The question still remains though, who is it for? If you need a secondary device, great. If you travel quite a bit and you need something for reading, watching movies, playing game on your commute, excellent. You can even pair a gaming controller with it and turn it into like a Nintendo Switch kind of situation with more games available on the App Store. It's a great educational tool for kids and adults alike. It's a business tool. It supports AR using its cameras. You can do business admin on there, even life admin. Yes, it doesn't support Face ID and there's a couple of things you might want to change in terms of design. And you might even block the speakers when holding it on that side where the speakers are. But the negatives don't outweigh the positives for me which is why I would definitely recommend the iPad mini fifth generation if that's something you're on the market and you're thinking about buying one. So that's it for the iPad mini 5 review. Guys, do let me know what you think in the comments below alongside any questions that you might have. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.